going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Flying Brian's Garage. So today, it is cold as hell out here. It is probably 30 degrees right now and I think it's going to be like 15 tonight. So, got the wood burning stove going and the and the heater so trying to stay warm still trying to be out here and you know get stuff done and make content for you guys but uh today is part three of the beast um to recap in last episode part two we finished the rear rack we did the seat and we did the brakes and the bracing around the trans and all that good stuff. Um, today, in this episode, we are focusing on belt system and alignment. Alignment for the belt system. And fix the tires on the front. They do not hold air and I didn't want to fix them until I ride it. Probably just going to throw some fixed flat or some slime in there and ride them until they quit. Quit leaking. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So, first thing is first, we have to, you know, lift seat up. We're going to have to take out our battery box. You know, I wish I would have thought about this a little more. Well, you know what? I might not take out the battery box. I might take off the back plate. I'm trying to think of which one will be easier. And battery box it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove our battery out of this box. We are going to get our wires ran through our holes in the box so we can take the box itself out. And then under this box we can access our rear pulley on our transaxle. Um, first things first, we're going to take it off and then go ahead and cut it and get that thing centered up again because it's just not and then we'll worry about the rest as we go on this battery is because I use this on a lot of applications and it is so much easier to use wing nut and carry around a box of wrenches where with me around the yard Put the battery out of there It's just going to make you angry. I shouldn't even have done this. Finally, stupid ass box is out. Now we are able to access our trans pulley. Let's see it down 
down in there. We got to get that guy off. Get it centered up. Because it is not. So this thing is just off. It is way off. I got in such a hurry on that one. Look how off that is. So what we're going to do is kind of cutting this out. I think the trans pulley on the on the uh, lawn cart that I had built. I think it's got the same center shaft diameter and keyway and all that stuff. So I actually think I'm just gonna go rob the one off of it. My ground is actually frozen back here. It's just kind of crazy. Usually don't freeze, but uh, it's supposed to be going down to 15 tonight, so. I'm just gonna flip it over. It'd be all right. Oh, it's cold out here. Damn. Yeah, I think that's the same diameter. Right there. Let's get that off. I think this thing is going to actually end up getting parted out. Ah, uh, the transes are too expensive for this thing. I can take all these parts and put them on something else. So... might have a new project at some point maybe cut this roll cage off and put it on the uh, uh let's see here that'll give you an idea about how cold it is in Georgia That was the top side of the pulley. It ain't thick, but it's ice. Figured I'd set this thing on the wood burn stove real quick and let it heat up. Listen to it sizzle. Frying bacon. Well guys, it's really hard for me to get my light down in there at the same time, but y'all can kind of see it's the same diameter hole. So we lucked out there. So now all I got to do is grind this weld from around here and get this off of this pulley. Alright, so we have our piece cut out. Go ahead and show you all that. There's our piece. Um, what did I do with our pulley? I sent it down somewhere. I know I did. Let me locate that. Okay, here's our old pulley. Here's one of the pulleys I found on this 46 inch Craftsman deck. It is a V pulley. And it is the exact same size. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try to bust this off. Let's see if I can do it with the impact. I'm surely hoping so. Yeah. So now I just got to get this out. So I went ahead and stripped this deck of all pulleys. Just to have a nice little 
flat in the pulley collection up here. And then I have two of the big pulleys there. So now I got me a little pulley collection, which is good. I'm going to need it. Um, next step is to get this attached in here. So to be clear about what we're doing here and our problem that we were having is we didn't center up our centerpiece into the center, exact center of our pulley so when it spins it jumps. What I did with this one is I did it a totally different way and this pulley here already had a hole in it and it was just slightly smaller than what the actual hole diameter was inside of the attachment piece that attaches it pretty much the hub of your pulley um, so what I did was I took a step bit and I realized that my hole was a 5 8 because it's the third from the back it's that ridge right there where the top of my finger is sitting on top of so third second and first is the third run so what I did was I measured the inside of this with step bit figured out it was 5 8 bored this hole out to a 5 8 I took and I made a little notch and accommodation for the key then I found a shaft that I had laying around a regular you know steering shaft whatever that was the same exact diameter as the inside of the hub for the pulley. It's also the same exact diameter for the hole that I bored out for the pulley. So I ran that through both and then I have it locked down in my vise with the bar pulled all the way down so this pulley has no play. Now it is completely centered and I will come in here and weld all the way around the inside here. So I want to take a quick second and pause the video and ask y'all to help me with something. I need y'all to do me a favor. Go down and hit that subscribe button. Smash it. Smash that bell. Uh, go like the videos. Uh, you know. Tell me where you're from. Say hi. Whatever. Ask me questions. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm trying to get to a thousand subs. Um, and I cannot do that without your guys' help. Um, so definitely go subscribe, check out the Facebook, the uh, Instagram, the Snapchat, and now we have a TikTok. You can just go type in Flying Brown's Garage and you will find me. Um, all the profile pictures are the same, it's easy to find. Um, and yeah, give me some likes, give me some subscribes, and all that good stuff. I'm trying to build this, and I can't build it without everybody's help. So, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, you know, got a lot of good videos coming, constantly coming, um, and I'm constantly sourcing new projects. So, stay tuned, and with that being said, let's get back to the video. here we are perfectly centered holy and that is how I did it well here is a problem we are already facing um, since I did not cut that pulley and recess it 
instead all I did was kind of stack everything on top of each other there's no room to get the ring on the lock ring so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this back off and I'm gonna grind some of that down to get this thing to fit So I've got to grind quite a bit more of this down. It is getting there, but it's not quite there. All right, so we got our pulley finally on, and I kind of adjusted some of the belt guarding out. It's not quite where it needs to be, but it's good enough. Um, got the belt on it. I'm going to go ahead and put the battery box back in here, get everything hooked back up. And then we can move back towards uh, putting in our idlers. We have our battery and our box reinstalled. So let's test. Make sure getting power. All right, we're getting power. So next step is to get the well, actually, what I'm going to do real quick before I forget is I'm going to go ahead and add this spring. All right, got our spring in place. Uh, of course, it wants to pop off as soon as I want to demonstrate it. All right, now I got it on. I had to drill a hole. So, now we've got spring on there. Let's get to the idler pulleys. All right, we have our idler pulley in place. Everything should be good to go. So we are to get this off the lift, because tomorrow, tomorrow we ride. <laughs> Belt and alignment. There she goes. I got the beast out of here and we're gonna wait for tomorrow. We're gonna fix the front tires and we're gonna ride it. We're gonna have to adjust the brakes a little bit tomorrow because of the fact that I didn't I can't get them right on the on the lift. It's gotta, you know. I gotta run it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it tomorrow. We're gonna adjust our brakes to our liking and then we're gonna ride the crap out of it. All right, today is the day. Let's uh, go ahead and fix these tires up. And then uh, get this thing started up for the day. All right. <clears throat> Didn't have enough stuff to do both the same. So this one is fix the flat. This one is slime. Hopefully it'll hold. Let's fire this thing up.
thing in the wood. Especially big old tires on the back. completely done still need to do a couple things on it but I will probably do those off camera and I will not do those right now I will probably do those way later on when uh, I don't have anything else to do the pulley on the transaxle the clip popped off so when I went to go put the belt on the last time I noticed the pulley was actually loose on there um, it looks like it probably needs a head gasket she's got a little bit of a leak here and I noticed it's actually still leaking even though I put valve cover gaskets on so that's probably the head gasket 
I will probably have to do that at some point. Um, and what else? I need to do a belt for sure because the belt keeps popping off and I need to put some belt catches in there. But other than that, this thing runs great. Um, it does need a little bit of an adjustment on the brakes as well, but no big deal. Something that I can definitely do. Everything else held up great. It rides good down there on the trails, especially at a crawl. Um, it is just a pretty damn good machine. Still a few bugs to work out. And there probably always will be with any machine that you build custom, but I'm happy with it. It was a fun build the whole time that I did it. it was, I think this build took two years. Um, off and on and you know stuff like that but I hope you guys enjoyed this little three-part series um, go down there and leave a like if you did comment down below if you have any questions or just want to say something in general be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet I don't know why you haven't the buttons right there and I got tons of good stuff coming out tons of good stuff back there go watch some of the old videos we got a tons of those back there they ain't getting a whole lot of views go like comment on them um, check out the Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and the TikTok. The only one that doesn't have the profile picture, the same as the YouTube channel, is the tic or not TikTok, the uh, Snapchat. It's got the avatar. But otherwise, just go into the search engines in those platforms, type in Flying Brian's Garage, you will find me. And now, I need to get back in here into the shop, so I can start on the John Deere. Be sure to stay tuned for that video to come out and once again thanks to uh, Hypa you know even though they didn't really you know help us with this build or anything you know I still want to give a thanks to them um, for helping us on the on the general. You can check out HypaStore.com y'all can go down and check out HypaStore.com I have it in the uh, description down there you'll find the link you can click on and it'll take you to their website they sell small engine parts like carburetors and stuff so you can go check them out check me out um, and until then I will see you guys on the next episode